Hey everyone, today I'll be teaching you how to make the Taco Bell Crunchwrap Supreme. This was really good and I'm super excited to show you guys how to make it. So, let's get started with the video. We're going to begin by making some guacamole. So, we're going to chop up some cilantro. Pick the leaves off of the stem. When you're finished, bunch the cilantro leaves up and then start chopping them. Once you're done, set your cilantro to the side. Now dice one jalapeno. Cut the top off and then cut it in half. After that, scoop out the seeds. Then you can begin dicing your jalapeno. When you're finished, set your jalapeno to the side. Now cut open two avocados. Then remove the seed. Remove the inside of the avocado and place it into a bowl. Now mash the avocados. You can use a fork or you can use a potato masher. Now add the juice of half of a lime. Then add 1 4th teaspoon of salt, 1 4th teaspoon of garlic powder, 1 4th teaspoon of onion powder, 1 tablespoon of cilantro, 2 tablespoons of your diced jalapeno, and 2 tablespoons of diced onions. Then mix everything together until well combined. When you're finished, set your guacamole to the side. Well, after you give it a little taste test first. Then set it to the side. Now we're going to make some pico de gallo. Dice one tomato. Place your diced tomatoes in a bowl. Then add the juice of half a lime. After that, add half a cup of diced onions, one tablespoon of cilantro, one fourth teaspoon or one half teaspoon of salt, and then mix everything together until well combined. Next, shred a head of lettuce. You do not have to shred a head of lettuce to make this recipe, you can just buy it pre-shredded. But ever since I figured out that buying a head of lettuce and shredding it yourself is way cheaper, okay, not way cheaper, maybe like a dollar cheaper <laughs> than buying it pre-shredded, I, I just do it myself. Plus I just find shredding lettuce fun. When you're finished, set your lettuce to the side. Now we're gonna make our own taco seasoning. In a small bowl, add one tablespoon of chili powder, one fourth teaspoon of garlic powder, one fourth teaspoon of onion powder, 
1 4th teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes, 1 4th teaspoon of dried oregano, 1 half teaspoon of paprika, 1 and 1 half teaspoon of ground cumin, 1 teaspoon of seasoned salt, and 1 teaspoon of black pepper. Oh, and 1 4th teaspoon of Creole. Mix everything together until well combined. In a 2 thirds cup of water, add 2 tablespoons of your taco seasoning. Then, mix everything until well combined. When you're finished, set your mixture to the side. In a large pan over medium heat, add some olive oil. Then add your ground meat. I use turkey meat, but you can always use beef. Then season your meat. So I season my meat with pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. Now cook your meat until it is browned. Once your meat has finished cooking, add your mixture from before. Cook the mixture into the meat until your meat is well coated. When you're finished, set your meat to the side. Now that all of our ingredients are prepared, we can begin making our crunch wrap. Begin by placing a large tortilla on a plate. Then add your ground meat. After that, add some nacho cheese. Just enough to cover your meat. Then add one tostada. After that, add sour cream. Then add lettuce, tamed jalapenos, only if you want though, the pico de gallo that we made earlier, shredded cheese, and finally, one small tortilla on top. Then fold the larger tortilla around the center until everything is folded together. Place your crunch wrap on a pan over medium heat until both sides have browned and are nice and crispy. When your crunch wrap has finished cooking, take it out of the pan and then cut it in half. After that, you're all finished. Go ahead and enjoy. This was easy to make and it was delicious. Adding the tame jalapenos was an awesome idea because it tasted great in the crunch wrap. The guacamole and the pico de gallo were both really good as well. So good in fact that me and mom kept eating both while I was filming the video. The crunch wrap is really, really good. So good that I made another one today for lunch. I totally recommend making it. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything I used in this video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!